Give us about three minutes and we'll show you some video that has people talking. Welcome to ABC2News.com. I'm Dustin Wadworth. Four women in New York City are a hit on YouTube because of this. They recorded themselves pole dancing in New York's subway earlier this year. And this video is actually a reenactment of their dance. The Transit Authority isn't happy about the incident, but they haven't filed any legal complaints. The women staged the dance to enter a contest on DareJunkies.com, and they actually won $10,000 and gave some of the money to charity. We'll stick to the dancing theme to check out a cop in Rhode Island with all the right traffic moves. This is Tony the Dancing Cop Lepore. He comes out every year around the holidays to shake up a little holiday spirit. Lepore started doing this in 1997, and through the years he's gained national attention. He's planning to dance at five more intersections in Providence before Christmas. People across the Midwest are skating their way around because of a nasty ice storm. A state of emergency has been declared in Oklahoma, and at least 18 people have died in Oklahoma and Missouri. A half a million people are without electricity, and tree limbs and power lines are down all over the region. But warmer air is expected in that area today, and that should give crews a chance to clean up the mess. Here's a look at the Inner Harbor, and there's no ice in sight right now, but here's Justin with, to tell us if any ice is headed our way. All right, Dustin, yeah, we're going to watch this storm closely because it is going to have an impact on us. Same old boundary that's been draped across the area since uh, roughly Saturday night and uh, has been skirting just to our south. Now, yesterday, temperatures almost hit 80 degrees. I have yesterday's high temperature map posted on my weather blog, and some of that warm air is going to hit Virginia yet again today. We'll stay on the cool side with some showers likely to redevelop with that second wave of low pressure and pushing some slightly warmer air in here for tomorrow, mid-50s to near 60 at best, while snow and ice the problem basically for the Midwest and cities like uh, Cleveland, Detroit, back towards Indianapolis and Chicago getting in on that action. Major travel headache for the middle of the week. Now that last wave of low pressure is actually going to skirt the ice to the north, but it's going to bring in some rain for us and bring back the colder weather as we head on in through Thursday. Looking ahead to the weekend, though, the tail end of this boundary is going to have one last gasp with it, and it could bring a coastal storm tapping into the cold air. We have a chance of some wintry weather around here as we head on in through Saturday night and Sunday. For more information, you go to justinweathertalk.com or just go to our weather page and click on my blog. I'll talk all about it right there. Thanks, Justin. And remember, we're always on on abc2news.com, bringing you the latest news right to your fingertips. If you see something you think we should add to our website, send us an email to webguys at wmar.com. We'll see you tomorrow.